All right. What do we got for game one? Smashville? No, town. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell when it's starting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really difficult because they have the same color scheme and layout almost until you get to yeah. the stage. The only thing is that you know for sure Smashville has the center by uh, the center stage. Sorry, center platform. So, already pretty even from both players. Oh, watch out for the gyro step. Oh my goodness. So much percent. I really want to see how Alan just is uh, going to land in this matchup, but oh my goodness, the hardest call out on that roll. He was charging it knowing that he would land with a grenade and try to cross up roll as like so many snakes do. Really, really huge first stock for Abin, man. Almost gets the Nair tech chase, but still applying tons of pressure here. Again, you can see how the gyro and the lasers destroying the grenade right in Snake's hands when he you know, tries to pull one. Oh, oh my god, I mean the Nair to beat out the up smash. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but if he did, he, he's amazing. Yeah. Actually, I, it's Abin, man. He probably did it too on purpose. <laughs> he probably did. But, oh, almost. Almost coming the gyro into the laser. Yeah, so much pressure being applied here by Abin, man. Alandis. With the empty hop up still trying to make something happen. Still living though. I talked about it earlier, man. Ape Man is coming in with some heat, but that heat is continuing on to this next game here. I like how he's looking for that jump opportunity here with the forward air. Kind of sneaking his way towards center stage. There is the big push here with the projectile. <laughs> okay, he just throws a jar in front. He's like, yeah, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> he's like, I have center stage, man. You have to come to me if you want to survive. But. There is the forward tilt. Second hit will be the most of the knockback here, and he takes the stock here. But Ape Man still on such a powerful lead here. 141. Nice. Gyro toss to the down tilt. It's a really good grenade trade for Alan Dis. Okay. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. Yeah, he keeps getting caught up by this gyro when he's trying to set up his grenade. Really great C4, though. This is a really good percent right now. Oh, there's, just there's in the, the back air. All right, there's control of the gyro a little bit, too. Okay, huge comeback right now for Alandis. Oh I mean, yeah, yeah. man, he's uh, getting caught up by his own gyro. And Ooh. there's the little dash back, calling out the landing from Abin Man, just thinking in the up tilt, great stuff. Yep, that quick down throw to up air. Thing. Some would like to call it the Rob Tombstone, just because it sends you into the ground. But for Abin Man here, once again, he just knows what the name of the game is here. It's to kind of push him with advantage as much as he can with each projectile that he can find on him. I like that he's actually using the snake's own grenades now with that Z drop. Excellent play once again here. Catching the roll with the down smash, getting set up on the stage here. Oh, Ooh, the act of late hit. Yeah, late hit back there still enough to send him in tumble. Ooh. Okay, great DI on the up there. He's staying alive just barely. Okay. Oh, and I think wasn't we saw the that Nikita. Yeah, and I think we saw the gyro arms just because he was looking to see if he can actually reflect the C4. So that was pretty excellent here on him. He's looking for the landing on Snake here because he can challenge that with Rob. Back there with such strong active frames. Can he find the landing here? Not just yet here. Still has stage control. No gyro okay. in play. I'm just trying his best to make this comeback happen. Mm -hmm. But man, his grenades are just very, very hard to work effectively when these gyros and lasers just intercepting him at every turn. Back at the ledge again here, though. He's going to stall on the platform. Oh, doesn't sing in the back here. Up throw driver? on the top platform is definitely enough to kill Abit, man. Saving that kill throw for when he needs it the most. But uh, great stuff out of this, man. He did lose that game, but I really felt like he was doing a good job of adapting. here. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of situations where I felt in kind of like the battle between the two is that Ape Man would kind of call the jumps out of platforms, the jumps out of neutral, jumps out of shield a little bit too early every time he went for something like gyro or beat laser. And there were situations where Alan Dis was able to just not, just didn't jump at all. And he was able to get away and punish Ape Man for that. Those were a few situations, especially when we saw Alan Dis start to slowly use the gyro against him. And then Ape Man responded in kind by using Snake's grenade against him. So you can kind of see how both players are really, really well at adapting to each other, especially Alan Dis, because he did not jump out of those that shield in whatever situations where Ape Man would have gotten some very strong punishes on him. Mm -hmm. I really quick here, 613 Link Shot. I love digital card games. I've been falling in love with uh, I believe Rune, Legends of Runeterra uh, and Hearthstone. Uh, Runeterra, I've been trying to enjoy a lot more. 
But uh, digital card games are great, guys. I miss Yu-Gi-Oh, but in the world of COVID, I definitely am enjoying digital card games for sure as an alternative. But that aside here, it is going to be game two here. 8 Man on a uh, bit of a point lead on the board here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pokemon Stadium 2, counter pick here for Alan. There's very good snake stage. The platform layout's very good for his uh, C4 traps. Also, decently big enough for him to, you know, have his projectile game set up. But, yeah, a lot of times it was just really difficult for him to uh, really effectively use grenades just because he always got hit with a laser or a gyro as he was trying to set up. So, let's see if he can change that up a little bit here in this game. Maybe even, you know, not tone vision as much on the grenades and just try to use them in a way to just approach Rob and not necessarily, you know, blow him up, really. Yeah, kind of take a page out of 8 Man's book here because that's the way that 8 Man is using it to approach Snake here. Hold shield, nice. Even though there's a little bit of damage here, 8 Man knows it's better to hold the shield with how healthy it is at that moment. Nice, stalls on the landing here with the down air. Oh. And we see these down tilts here because it's a really good poke and a really good pressure on the neutral. Oh, oh no. Held on to grenade a little bit too long. As I was saying, yeah, that down tilt's really good. It's a really good poke and a really good tool in the neutral. And it's able to catch a snake in situations that if you were to go to roll, you might get caught. Oof. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Oh, nice. Wait for the landing? Yep. There it so is. So good. That was so smart, using the jar to hit him out of his up B like that. He just make, put him in a terrible position where basically Rod just had to wait for him to put himself in range of his own back here. Yeah, and now Aven Man, Aven Man, huge, huge lead right now. He's not going to die that, but look, he's in a terrible spot once again. Things passed him with the air dodge, fortunately for Allendis, but might be hanging on by a thread here. Aven Man, huge lead. Continuing to pressure him at the ledge, throwing him out of his upbeat, <laughs> and then just let me just back air him deep into the blast zone. Nowhere left to go. Ape Man, so, so good at edge guarding this character. Just you, textbook, textbook how to destroy Snake off stage in this matchup right here. Oh, man. Include that and send it to Ape Man. Let him rewatch his glory because that. I, the chat the chat is basically speaking for itself, man. Ape Man is popping off. That was dirty and yeesh. Alan Disc could not touch the stage, man. He was in disadvantage for like a cool minute. And Ape Man ran that check order all the way to the bank, cashed it in, and that sees him here at set point. Yeah, very, very good. This is honestly what I expected to see from Ape Man in this matchup. As I said, very experienced, knows exactly how to destroy Snake and disadvantage. And he's playing the character that can really you know, not have to worry so much about the grenades. Yeah. You know? And, and when, not even just grenades. Like you said, when Snake has this advantage, look at how far he's trying to recover. Rob can challenge that. If he tries to go too far off the right or the left, if he tries to go too high, Rob has the jet fuel to actually challenge that. And so that puts Alan Dis at still at a scary position here. But let's go to a set point here. It is game three. Can 8 Man take this home as a 3 or Will Alan Dis finally find the keys to victory here? Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. He definitely had a really good first game, even though he lost. He was, you know, starting to adapt a little bit to Aven Man style. Oh. Oh man, these tech chases from Aven Man right now are a little bit too insane. Getting so much punishes. Oh, that was good on the up smash here. Wanted to see if we could call the jump in just the nick of time. Narrowly missing it. Yeah, look at that. Ape Man fights for neutral here using every projectile. I like the shield standoff. Doesn't want to commit to anything too much where the grenade will be a problem. Yep, he just waited for the grenade to explode because he didn't want to attack Snake and then, you know, get put in a bad trade situation. Very yep. good awareness of what to do in this matchup. All right, Snake's in the down tilt. Very good poke from Snake. Probably yeah. one of his more underrated moves. For sure. Dash attack oh. does have a lot of active frames. What a good call out with down smash. Just because it has that wide angle and active frames once again. He's looking for the land. And you can tell Alan, you can tell Alan is very scared to make those recoveries now because Ape Man has been calling that for the past two games. Go high. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, he knows. He has to go high and he always has to come in with that air dodge. Just because he knows if he doesn't, Ape Man will call that out. Active frames on that neutral air. 
Rob with so many active frames, man. Yeah. Honestly, uh, he honestly should have just stayed crouching with his down tilt because he probably would have, you know, ducked under the nair, to be honest. Oh, oh missed the tech. No tech. Yeah. And that almost killed at 84. Oh my goodness, calling the rollout as well. Avid man, he's just firing on all fronts. Even dodging the C4, he knew where it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the gyro to kind of cover him, man. It's the blade, blade of glory at this point. Back air oh, once fuck. again. Inner so dodge. hard. That was such a hard situation here because if he neutral get up, he had to shield and worry about the gyro. If he jump get up, he would have been caught by the back air. And if he won't get up, Ape Man can still call that out because the gyro was in such a good position. Oh, this is huge right now. Ape Man might be getting a three stock right here. He has That's so it. much control of this stage. I'm witnessing a massacre strides. That's what I'm literally missing witnessing right now. Oh nice empty hop grab. Oh my I want some more. Another down throw here. Alan is mixing up his mash to throw a bitman off. So he doesn't get a free follow-up. But yeah, again, he needs this stock. There okay. it is. Bit of a tough break there for for Alan Disc. He's still at such a high percentage, but he finally gets a stock here. I liked a little bit of a oh. ring around there from Ape Man. We're gonna get that sneaky cross up. Yeah, that was really, really good spacing, maybe, man. And crazy thing about Rob too, if you do hit Snake out of Nikita, he will oh. deactivate it, and Rob can actually do that with laser. Maybe okay, man's trying to find this one straight hit he needs. You can see that Ape Man kind of wanted to force Alan this to go for the roll, but Alan this no slouch. He's kind of looking to keep this game running as much as possible and try to survive. Oh my. Finally that was landing. so good. That was such a good landing from Malandus. Mm -hmm. And movement in the air to barely avoid the up air. He's still in a terrible position, but like he, he's he's fighting really hard right now. Oh, he's fighting indeed. Tough spot, tough spot. Alan, can you recover here? Nice. And he yep. tries to go for that air dodge just to barely make it here. Has to use another one, but unfortunately... Oh. Right under Rob's thrusters. Yeah, even man barely missed the first down air because he caught out that air dodge. Honestly, Alan Dis should have thanked his lucky stars he didn't die that time and just really changed his recovery, but he recovered in the same exact way. Ape Man saw it coming again.